welcome back to my channel. So, I recently did a makeup look that was like a smoky eye and I wanted to do like a twist on a smoky eye so I wanted to actually make it look like there was smoke coming from my eyes. Um, so I did the look and I wasn't really, I don't know, I didn't, I was no more or less pleased than I, what I am with any of my other looks, but it just kind of came out really cool. Anyway, I took a video on my phone, just like, like this, uh, with music on in the background, and I uploaded it to Twitter, and within 12 hours, it had reached like a million views, and I was completely shocked. Um, fast forward to like, you know, today, it's been three days since I uploaded that, um, and it's almost at 2.6 million views, so it's gone completely viral. Um, Nikki Tutorials retweeted me. Um, a bunch of people have interacted with the tweet that is just insane, but I think that that interaction from bigger influencers really drove a lot of the traffic to the post, and I don't... I think people think that maybe I came up with the idea of doing smoke, but I didn't. I definitely was inspired by other artists, like... Um, there's one in specific on Instagram. Her name is Strash Me, and I'll I'll link her Instagram in the in the information box. But she did like a black smoky eye with smoke coming from her mouth, and it was really cool. Yeah, it was basically just an optical illusions makeup. I got this inspiration, and I thought, well, you know what? It would be cool if we did like a smoky eye that's actually smoking. So. So many people on Twitter have mentioned to me that they feel like they would love to see a tutorial. Now, I'm not the type of person to do the same thing over just for tutorial's sake. Um, so I want to try something a little bit different, but incorporate that smoke. I don't know if this is going to sort of blow the same way that that one did, but um, for the people that do want to see a tutorial, I think this will be fun. The makeup took me like three hours to do when I did like the black smoke here with the white smoke. So I... I'm probably not going to speak for most of this, just sort of a lot of it's going to be time lapse and I'll stop to show you kind of what I'm doing and slow it down for bits, but um, if you want to watch how I kind of got that smoky effect, this is your opportunity. If you're new here, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up on the video, um, I really hope you enjoy. Also pop by my Instagram page, it's the Brooks Brother, so T-H-E underscore Brooks Brother. Um, check out my videos and my posts there. You can also follow me on Twitter, The Brooks Brother, as well. So all my information will be linked in the box below, as per usual. And yeah, I'm just going to get right into the video, so enjoy! First things first, I'm going to bring us in a little bit closer because you're going to want to see a bit of detail. The main thing that takes the longest is covering up my brows because I have really dark brows. They're pretty full. So I'm going to use a glue stick, which I did for the original video, well, the original post. Before you get into gluing anything down, you want to wipe it down with some alcohol. I know that sounds really harsh, and it is hard on your skin, definitely, like it's quite drying. But uh, this is going to take any oil off the hairs in your brow. When you're trying to glue it down, if there's, if there's any oil residue on the hair, it's not going to sit flat. I'm going to go in with that glue stick and just start covering them. The key to this is lots of thin layers, and then as you get to the end, one thick layer. I'm just going to let it dry, do a layer, let it dry, let it... Wait, what? I'm going to do a layer, let it dry, do a layer, let it dry, do a layer, let it dry, so like three times. And then once it's like ready to be covered, I'll come back. So now I've done three thin layers and two thick layers, and it's pretty much dry. I just want to get my brows down as smooth as possible. But that's done. So now I'm going to start covering them. First, I'm going to take some translucent powder, just on a sponge, and I'm going to press that into my brow. Any glue that's not dry at this point is going to be forced to dry. This also um, fills in any little gaps where there's like grooves in the hair with powder, so this helps to smooth it down too. Now my brows are like blue, so I want to color correct a little bit. I'm going to use the this little Conceal and Correct palette from MAC, and I'm going to use the orange shade and just 
put some of that over my brow because my brows are jet black. When you cover it, or when you're attempting to cover the color, if you don't put something like really warm and orangey underneath, they'll just end up being gray and you'll see them through the foundation. So now I'm just gonna add foundation. I'm gonna use my little Dior face and body foundation just on my forehead so that everything's all seamless and then I can powder my whole forehead. Just gonna powder over my brows. Um, and instead of translucent powder this time, I'm gonna use one that has color in it. So it's Maybelline Fit Me Powder because I want it to just blend with my foundation when it's on my whole face. Voila! No more brows. So I'm gonna prime my lids now. I'm just gonna use my, my Conceal and Define Concealer from Makeup Revolution. I always prime my lids with this and I use it as my concealer. I'm gonna start by just mapping out the shape. I'm gonna do that with a lip liner. This is Ruby Woo Lip Pencil. I'm doing red. I'm gonna take a red eyeshadow. This is a red one from the Morphe 35O palette. I'm just going to start working on that shape. So I have the rough idea of a flame on one eye. I'm just gonna do the other one. And then I'm gonna come back and we can start the smoke. I'll be back in three, two, one. Now the fire is on this eye too. I added some like little stems of flames because I realized this high point doesn't leave me a ton of room to do much smoke. My hair is really short so I can actually like I'll probably put it back here. But these little ones will leave me some more room to like do like little wisps of smoke, but they have to all come together into one stream so that it doesn't look like clouds because it's meant to be one flame, you know, like a match or like a birthday candle, like one flame and then there's like that black stream of smoke coming from the top. That's what I'm going for. So now I'm gonna start with the smoke. I'm actually gonna use a foundation powder this is what I use to contour my face. NC47 Studio Fix Powder from MAC. I'm gonna take a little detail brush. And yeah, I'm gonna start like roughly etching out the smoke. So I have a rough idea now of the lines that I kind of want to work with. I don't know if you can really see them that well. They might look like crazy baby hairs laid down on my forehead. And they're not. But this is the kind of shapes that I'm trying to go for. So now it's just about blending and shading. So that's going to take me a quick minute.
So this is gonna take me a while. I need to charge my camera battery for a little bit, but you can kind of see how I'm creating it. So I'm gonna go charge my battery, and then when it's juiced up, we'll see where I'm at, so I'll be right back. Okay, hi. So this is where we ended up. I ended up finishing the smoke, and then I added, I just kind of fixed up the flame a little bit. Added some glitter, some lashes, mascara, but it's come together now. So, time to do this side. <laughs> I started mapping out the smoky bit, but now I'm just gonna add my shading and light. So, basically the difference now between this eye and this eye, the yellow is a little bit, I need to touch it up in there, add my glitter, add some lashes, and go ahead and do that. On my inner corner, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight, the yellow that's down here, which is matte chrome yellow, and then I use this glitter from MAC, this one, it's called Reflex Gold. Okay, so everything's done on the eyes now. I already got the foundation on my forehead, so I'm just gonna do my base, and then I'm gonna do my concealer and powder, and then we can finish my face together. Uh, foundation is still Dior Backstage Face and Body for W is the color, concealer, um, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, and then powder, uh, Maybelline Fit Me, loose powder in medium, and Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. Okay, so bronzer. My Dark Deepest Mineralized Skin Finish. A gold deposit to highlight. And my Master Chrome Maybelline Gold to highlight. <laughs> So yeah, this is how it came out. I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of clear lip gloss. This is one of my lips. I don't want anything too distracting on my lips. There's a lot going on up here, so I'm just gonna do a clear gloss. So, this is the finished look. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this hasn't been too long. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this. It's super different for my channel. I don't do a lot of like artsy creative makeup on here, so that's mostly on my Instagram. So here it is. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would love to see you subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And like I said before, please follow me on Instagram. It's the Brooks Brother. So T H E underscore Brooks Brother. And I'm on Twitter too, uh, at the Brooks Brother. So um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys all again very, very soon.